<laughs> and I think I'm live. Hello, it's a sunny day. Uh, you should probably all be outside doing something interesting rather than watching me doing something oh, less interesting. Just jiggling you around. Um, I've been out today and been to a boot fair. I've also laid a lawn, so I've been very busy. But I've had my bacon butty and I'm feeling a bit happier as a result now. <laughs> so I, I know I've got top chat here. Let me just sort this out. Live chat. There we go. Should that work? Ah, it's working. Hello, Karen. How are you, love? You're all right. Ah, mm, I'm knackered, actually. I am very, very knackered. I spent... 65 pounds this morning <laughs> i spent 65 quid which is a lot for me to spend oh we got more hello hello maria hello lex hello all the fun of the find and i do know your name but i'm really bad at that sort of thing hello hope you hope you're having a good time um all the fun of the find i know you're local to me get yourself up to uh, the hot farm boot fair i'm not going the rest of this week i've got enough to keep me going for a while but if you need stock good place to go um hot farm boot fair is just outside paddock wood by the way i know all the fun of the find isn't a million miles away from me you've got a gym date oh right well i'll crack on <laughs> i i don't need a gym date i was laying lawns this morning so my my guns are <laughs> they're there <laughs> oh dear swamp picker hello swamp picker wow hi you've got two car boots this weekend well this is quite a big one that i don't normally bother with it's not my nearest but I wanted to go today because my there's there's I have a contact who said she was going to be there today and she was that she was going to have lots of good stuff. So I thought I will get there. So I have. I have. I'll show you the strangest thing first. Oh dear, the light is a bit bad in here. I'm sorry, I can't use my main computer. This is a, it's a bit battered. This this poor hat has had a life. Actually, it really has had a life. It looks like it's been squashed. But this is quite an old hat. Um, it's got a leather lined inside. It's all beautifully silk lined. Um, I think it's got the, uh, the the initials of the owner, A A E M, and it's made by and it's really strange script, but it looks like it's something A Dunn and Company Limited, Piccadilly Circus, something something the Strand and Oxford Street, London. I'm guessing this is probably 40s or 50s. Um, it's beautifully made. It's a little bit dusty. There's a bit of a repair I need to do just to tack the, the cross-grain bow back on the side. But I've actually done a work with hats. I sold the Stetson, which admittedly I kept for myself for ages and never worn. Um, <laughs> um, an American one, and I sold that just recently. So I thought hats actually aren't that bad. Um, but it seems to be blokes hats that I find. Ooh. You had a bowl hat made by the same people. They, they obviously are a brand. It looked, yeah, G.A. Dunn and Co. Limited. It would just looked quality. I mean, there's all this sort of stitching inside and it didn't look too sweaty. It's plainly been warm, but it wasn't heady, you know, head sweat. Ooh, yuck. Um, you've got a, oh yes, Darren's working to go on Monday. This one, this one at Hot Farm, I'm saying this mainly for all the fun of the find or anyone else who's, in and around the sort of West Kent area. Um, they seem to be running it today, admittedly, um, tomorrow, Sunday and Monday. Now, and I've got the local one to me on Sunday. Although having spent 65 pounds, which for me is quite a bit of money, I made a note of it, otherwise I forget what I've spent where. Um, you know, I, but I'm feeling really chuffed with the quality of what I've got. The, you know, when you're digging around in piles of clothes on, on the floor, it, it, it's kind of tempting to think, oh, I've just got to grab something. But, you know, I'm up at about 1,300 listings now and I've got a bank of about 50 that are drafted and ready to go. So I'm, I'm, I'm starting to sort of ration myself a bit because I don't want to go over over the limit. It might be the original Dun & Co, actually, all the fun to find. I, um, I don't know if you recognise this. I, you probably can't see it. Uh, it's there. Yeah, really difficult to see. It, it might be, actually. You, uh, Maria Clark wants to get a polystyrene head. Oh, I see, uh, for hats and glasses to display. Yes, I tend to sort of photograph them either sort of sitting on Edna, who has no head, obviously, um, uh, and just take as many shots of them as I can. But I do find that hats go quite well. 
Yes, and some of them are tiny. I don't have a big head, so if I put this on, this is a size seven, and, and there is a way. This this tells me here it's a size seven. It's not me being um, very clever. I think it's that way, but it's, um yes, it's not really me. Um, I just like the feel of it. They're made so nicely. <laughs> oh, have I missed somebody? Have I missed Peter? Hello, Peter. Hello, Jason. I've just seen you there. You're not all enjoying the sun. Well, I've been out and about this morning to a boot fair. I've also laid my circular lawn this morning. I'm knackered. I'm sitting down for a rest. And when I mentioned to certain ladies that I'd done, I've been boot fairing. They said, oh. And I said, yes, but once I've had my bacon sandwich. I've had my bacon sandwich now. I'm very happy. Right. I made a bit of a note. I'm thinking, did I do this right? Okay, yes. Try and go things go around things in order um because i know roughly what they cost i paid a pound for a silk scarf hello becca <laughs> and you some of you may know i actually do collect silk scarves and i have a very very large collection of vintage ones and some more modern ones this isn't anything particularly special but it's silk and i know as soon as i touch it when it's silk this has lovely flowers on it and it's actually by pastime so whether it looks incredibly vintage it probably isn't. It's very difficult to show a scarf. But well, I paid a whole pound for it, so I've actually now spotted that I've got it home, that it's got um, what looks like some makeup, possibly makeup mark on it, something like that. I'll see if I can. You have to be so careful with silk because if you rub it or pull it or stretch it, it, it's never the same. But I always look for silk. I look for a hand-rolled hem, which is a little bit like this. Where it's been rolled over rather than just machine stitched. Um, and I look for nice, vibrant designs, and preferably with as few faults as possible. Some old scarves can have faults and be worth lots of money just because they're rare. Let me fold that up while and scrunch it, because that's going to make it a mess. Kicking. Oh, that's Becca. <laughs> Sorry, I said hello, Becca. Got myself very confused there. It is rather beautiful. I am such a sucker for artwork and scarves really are art and they're properly done and I've got a big passion for the very old scarves I like the ones that have to do with perfumes this this is I mean past times I don't think exists anymore um, but all those years ago back in the 90s it was very popular they're, they use a thing called Beckford Silk uh, Beckford Silk was a silk manufacturer that I don't think exists anymore um, but they were very very high quality silk and, and pastimes use them to make their silk, which is why it feels so nice. We're not talking quite home. It's home is quality silk. It's usually lovely and thick and heavy. Um, but there's lots of different ones. Have I missed Mandy? Hello, Mandy. <laughs> hey, yeah, oh, hello, Mandy, yeah. Um, have I ever found any Hermes? Um, I have, but it's, it's a very non-colourful design. It's like a dead pigeon on it. You know, it's one of those sort of hunting type ones. It may or may not be genuine because there are an awful lot of fakes about. I do have a genuine Hermes scarf, but that was given to me by um, by a cousin um, for my 50th birthday many years ago. And I know it's a genuine one and it's stunning. It's absolutely stunning. Of course, I can't wear it because I'll throw something down it because I'm the clumsiest treasure pirate going. But I keep it because it just it's just beautiful. And I know it's I know it's genuine. I mean, there is no doubt. So I kind of use that as my benchmark. Um, I don't tend to try and collect Hermes scarves just because it's a minefield. Okay, uh, clothes. Uh, in case any of you didn't know, I will be showing mostly clothes. Actually, I've got a lot of shoes as well. I picked this up. Now, it was £2. Uh, this is one of my earlier purchases. It's kind of vintage monsoon, but it's one of these sort of long dresses. And I quite like the kind of, oh, I don't know, it's a bit like Monet, isn't it, with these lilies. It's kind of a bit 90s. A bit retro um just a long is it maxi mm -hmm. probably on some um it's not silk this one but i thought you know that will go for a few quid you have to kind of buy something don't you to get to get going i always think and then a mad purchase from the same lady also two pounds oh kirsten hello you're stuck inside catching up with jobs <laughs> well you're the lucky lady with a lovely shop aren't you we do like your shop. It's lovely. I'd love to come and have a rummage one day. This is huge. It's fast, but it's beautiful. It's so 
it's like a real canvas cotton. It's very hippie, hippified. What's that then? I don't know. Is that pocketses? Blimey. Big pocketses. Two big pocketses on the front. It's kind of a smocky thing and it's very hippie, but it's a really nice big size. It's sort of logan looking, maybe boho, festival chic, who knows? But I just thought it was a really nice quality item. Um, couldn't, I probably didn't see labels because I wasn't looking properly. Um, I don't think it's got any. So it may have come from somewhere overseas. I thought it was a lovely thing and I thought it's a bit mad. And I do find that slightly mad things sell. <laughs> and if you know me, you know, I do like my vintage and crazy things. Three loads of washing on the line. Yes, it's beautiful here. It's absolutely. Do they have a material labeling stated in silk or not? I think you're talking about the scarves. Um, some will. An awful lot of scarves, especially the vintage ones, will have lost their labels. There we are. This, this one says pure silk made in England. But this isn't particularly old. Um, and actually, some of the most valuable scarves aren't necessarily silk. Um, they can be rayon or linen or um, acetate. It just depends on the subject matter and how rare they are, how collectible they are. Um, is that a mark or is that? You now you start doing that and thinking, has the pattern transferred a bit? No, it's the design. Sometimes colour runs in, in silk scarves as well. So, <laughs> you see, oh, all the fun. The, hello, Interchick. Hiya. Now, you found something interesting on the inside of a men's jacket. If you're not. Oh. You don't want to lift them out. Was it, was it a certain little something in the slightly metallic packet? <laughs> Perhaps in case the chap got lucky. Um, yeah, I'm. Tissues, I always find tissues in pockets, but you know what? I tend to think they've been there so long, they're fine. And I always have hand sanitizer with me just in case. <laughs> uh, nice. Mm. Said gentleman was hoping to get lucky, I take it. Now, let me just work out what I've got. So they would, two pounds, two pounds, and a pound for the scarf. Then I paid two pounds for this. Now, I don't know for absolutely sure if it is indeed Burberry. Uh, it's not something I find very often. But it's a lovely colour. It's a size five, so it's a nice big size. Men's Burberry shirt with the Nova check. Flip that cup and inside the collar. And yeah, I don't know if the late, I don't know if it's genuine. So I don't know. I'm you take a bit of a punt sometimes. I'm, I'm going to research it and check it out because I will not list it if I'm not 100% certain that it's going to be all right. Oh, I keep making a mess. <laughs> uh, maybe he had already got lucky and it was a used... Oh, ew. <laughs> I'm glad I ate my bacon a little while ago. A half-eaten biscuit in a soup pocket. I often find things like old train tickets to London, um, tissues, receipts. Um, finding a very interesting letter in the chest of drawers. <laughs> Was it European? <laughs> Was it French? <laughs> very outdated. Mm. I think that's one of those things that somebody shoves something in it or in a pocket and just completely forgets about. Ew. Doesn't bear thinking about really. If it's out of date, does that mean does that mean it's perished? <laughs> it would be no good. Um, right, these these are uh, these are Coast. Um, not all Coast does fabulously. It is a lovely brand and it's very expensive new. But I have got a couple of items that are proving a little sticky. Oh, I shouldn't have said that really in the context of what we were talking about. These shouldn't because they're sort of like culottes. These are quite recent ones. They're nice wide leg lots and bizarrely for something that's cream they actually don't have marks on which is deeply deeply unusual and they're so nice i think they're quite in again at the moment they've got sort of pleats so when you wear it it looks a bit like a skirt i suppose um i haven't done I've, i haven't had time to do any research on any of this stuff so i'm this was all me taking a punt when i was out this morning um i did research on a couple of things uh, put everything back in its relevant bag I'm going to get it all muddled up, back into the bag. 
Oh, hello, Ginger Witch. Hiya. <laughs> that men's big, big, hang on, I'm confused. That men's big tip you showed before, could it be a dashiki? Men's big tip. I'm a bit confused. <laughs> it's all sounding slightly, unless you, is this the hat? Is that the hatch? Is that what we mean? Men's big tip. Or could it be this? Ah, I don't know if this is a man's or not. Sorry, top. Ah, <laughs> sorry. I don't know if it is a man's. I suppose it could be. It's very, um, the only reason I thought it might not be a man's is because there's, it's sort of got panels here. So not like a pleat, but it kind of expands. So I don't know. This this is quite, um, you know, it could be quite symbolic. I might look up a dashiki. I've never heard of one. It does feel like something that's been made, oh, not Egyptian, but somewhere made from another, a, a different part of the world. I seriously need to do a bit of research on. I'm really not sure about that dress now. You know, I picked it up because I quite liked, I just quite liked the, the sort of loose floral, flowy. No. Well, anyway. I always think if most things are good on balance, you can put up with the odd fail. Where you suddenly find there's something hideously wrong with it or it isn't what it purported to be. Okay, I'm going to move on to a bunch of stuff. The, everything I'm going to show you from this little bit here basically worked out at £2 an item, averaged. Crispy, hello. <laughs> hello, Crispy. I very rarely pass up dungarees. Boiler suit, whatever you care to call it. I think it's just dungarees. These aren't really anything special. They're a reasonable size. Um, I think they're a reasonable size because a lot of the times you find them they're absolutely tiny. These were twelve, and they are two Sainsbury's ones. But you know, considering they cost me a couple of quid, they do sell. I do find that things like that are going quite well at the moment. Right, they make a little pile. Oh, oh this was so good. Not what you want on the weather like this, but it's cashmere and it's men's and it's beautiful. Oh, it's one of those ones you can tell it's never been worn. It's got that new cashmere. I haven't got to get the debobbler out. And as far as I can tell, there are no holes. This is a very old Marks and Spencers. That is, well, I don't know if it's very old. I don't know if that is quite the way they do their labels just now. Um, and... It just says pure cashmere, but I guess if I felt around for a label, this may not sell at the moment. You know, we're not really in cashmere weather, but I'm going to pick it up all day long. There we go. It's an XX large, extra, extra large, deep red, they call that colour. It's really nice. Oh, I love it when I find cashmere. So that's one for Shelley. <laughs> if she tunes in, still finding cashmere. Sorry, I'm squinting here because I'm reading the chat. <laughs> oh, is that hello? Sue, Auntie Sue, hello. Can't wait to see you next weekend. Yay, it's only a week away. How many sleeps? Not many. Not many sleeps. we are loving that. So looking forward to it all. It's going to be gorgeous if the weather's good. Now, these trousers plainly match the new jacket I've got. Pewter. Uh, they're Zara woman. They're covered in zips. I would just so love these. I would so wear these, except I'm not that tiny. I don't think I've ever been that tiny. Oh, but they're, they're, they've never been worn. I mean, they're absolutely brand new. It does feel like a Saturday, doesn't it? Uh, Zara Woman Premium Den Denim Collection. So these are denim. Um, funnily enough, the size appears to have gone walkabouts, which is very old. I can measure them. They're, they're fairly high-waisted. No, they're not high-waisted. Medium-waisted. But I have got a pair of faux leather Zara woman trousers that seem to have an awful lot of watches and a lot of interest. So I'm hoping these sort of pewter finished ones will, will do well. Of two pounds. I'm certainly going to make my money back on those. Ah, definite find. Find of the day. This is all part of the same bundle. I think we all know about Seven for All Mankind. They have varying success on, on the, but these are new. They're brand new. And check out their retail price. I had no idea. So 190 English pounds. 
my son said to me when I when, he said, I can't believe anyone pays that for jeans. I'm like, they do. These are clearly unworn. They're the Rocker Low Rise Slim Boot Cut. Now, no, low, they are very low rise, actually. That is a case of if you're not very careful with your with your <coughs> gardening, <laughs> all might be on display. And they are the, they're sort of slightly flary at the bottom. But you know what? Some little young thing is probably going to be quite happy to wear those. Um, I don't know what I'll get on them. I'll have to research the exact type of them. But they're the Rocker Jean. So it's got to be a good few quid in those. Would that be good? <laughs> they could be mine either, love. Absolutely. I, I, I'm, a, I'm a high waster girl, me. I am these days. In fact, I never really got on with low-waisted jeans. Always struggle. Um, but now I struggle no more because mum jeans are in. Yay! Yeah, I just average those. So all of those lovely pieces, including those amazing jeans and the cashmere, were two pounds each. I do like a boot fairy. Just get the one just to say I'm going in and start rummaging. Right. Also, from the same store that worked out at two pounds. I don't often do well with picking up shoes, but today was a good day. Yes, they're fugly. <laughs> Tucked in, yes, contained, uh, disciplined, I find. These, and there is another one, obviously. I'm not into buying single shoes. Um, very appropriate for the weather, obviously, with their nice fluffy lining. But I picked these up because they look good quality. There's very little wear on them. I couldn't even see a brand. They're, they are my size, strangely. Um, but they're leather and they're really well made. So when you really dig down, God, uh, if you dig down, there is a brand in them. And it was an Italian brand. And that's one reason why I picked them up. Oh, I can't even see it now. It's like a black cat in a coal mine. Um, so I can't even tell you what brand they are. But they have a good quality feel about them. Uh, they're not going. They're probably not going to sell now, unless somebody wants the sort of camper look. They've got a little bit of little bit. Sorry, I'm not showing a little bit of a, a ding there. Oh, hello, hi Sam. <laughs> so yeah, they're probably not going to go immediately, but for two quid. These were far more attractive though. Nice little pair. I, the metallic thing is, is so still going. They're great for festivals. Lovely, lovely booties. Um, they're leather as well. And I can tell you the brand of these because I, I can actually, <laughs> hey up Sam. <laughs> they're brand new, they're a size eight. And these were Italian as well. They clearly haven't been worn, they haven't gone anywhere, they're 40. A size eight and the brand which I haven't done any research on and you probably can't see Mattia but of course it says those magic words I identita Italia so they're Italian made and again they just feel like reasonable quality they're not some um, they're not leather soles but they've clearly not been worn and I have a can you tell I have a bit of a thing for metallic yeah so for two quid, I thought, yes, please, we'll have those. They'll probably sell soon, the boots. Yeah, they're probably going to end up not going until the autumn. I don't mind. I think it's quite a good time to pick up that kind of stock that other people aren't necessarily buying for themselves. But we all know, come September time, people are going to stop. Why have I got to be held to review your... Let's show it. Yes, that's fine. There we go. <laughs> Kicking desert. Okay. 40 was a 7. Yeah, that's, that's true, actually. Quite right. right. I think someone's written 40 on the bottom. Look like they've written 40 on the bottom. No, 41. They are an 8. Yeah. Way too big for me. But beautiful boots. Right. Actually, if I put these on the top of my head, it'll keep my hair out of the way. I've got to trim my fringe before next weekend because I can't see anybody. <coughs> The white stripe is gone, though. <laughs> ah. yeah, Becca got home at dinner time. So, right, that little collection there, I bought two pounds a piece. I'm just flinging that over there because now I've got a big bag of stuff. Oh, sorry, cat. <laughs> I just realised there's a cat the other side. And he's looking at me just to say, why are you chucking all these clothes about, Mum? Okay, let's start. Right. 
everything I'm about to show you from here on in uh, was £40. But I got a lot for £40. I got a lot. It worked out at £2.50 per item. But some of these are shoes and some of these are better than others. But let's kick off with Mint Velvet, which I know isn't always always, but this is new with tags and it's stars look. Now, if this was if this wasn't a 10, I'd probably want to wear it. And look, £79 new. Seven, really, I'm not lying. Look, some person has gone into that shop, dropped £80 on something to wear and then got rid of it without even taking the tags off. Yeah, crazy. But good for me. <laughs> I saved you from cleaning shoes, Sam. <laughs> I don't mind cleaning shoes. I know that sounds a bit weird and a bit sick but I actually don't mind I don't even mind sewing up you know doing repairs and things I find it quite relaxing you might have to have that top well indeed <laughs> I haven't <laughs> I won't be selling it for 79 pounds you can bet on that but that's got to be a popular design it's what it is because I'm showing it really badly here what it is is there's an underlayer like a t-shirt that's obviously a bit more fitted a nice jersey oh nice and soft and then there's this sort of overlayer with cold oh it's cold shoulder as well there it's no no it's not God. just like a, a sort of a loose sleeve so these are probably not actually going to even get listed until i reckon these aren't going to be listed till may because i have actual it's not a death pile because they're all drafted and ready to go but what i've been doing is stacking up one so every day i put actually i put seven on a day usually seven new ones on a day um and i and i've also got some old stock to get rid of why does it, it keeps wanting me to hold there we go let that one through <laughs> ah. <laughs> love a star pattern exactly anything with stars on and anything sparkly really I, i'm i'm a magpie <laughs> i'm just a magpie so this one i thought oh animal print you know yeah i know animal print is kind of having its day but this is, oh, is that the right way around? No, that's the right way around because the ruching wouldn't be at the back, would it? Ruching, we all love ruching. This is silk. And it's LK Bennett. It's a 12. Now I'm assuming, I at one time, because it, it has these little, these little hopper things that maybe you can put a slip underneath. I don't think it came with one, but it's silk. And it's animal print and it's beautiful so i don't think that will take long to sell that'd be a great thing for wedding guest party occasion cruise holiday blah 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 um yeah dresses are starting to shift for me at the moment i don't know how the rest of you are faring i think people are starting to buy for their holidays and i'm actually going on holiday in a while so <laughs> i've managed to get if you want a last minute holiday deal half term is a good time to go because no one seems to be booking and i've just booked this amazing uh place in kefalu sicily which is a long sandy beach and we we like to go self-catering so that we can have sort of like a picnic in the fridge and we haven't got to eat out all the time or, and we're not very good with like hotel and to do the hotel thing i just just us like to be a bit more free range but this lovely place and i booked flights the flights are stonkingly expensive but the actual accommodation wasn't too bad at all big high ceilings tiled floors with all beautiful tiles oh i'm so looking forward to it anyway i'm waffling uh this is a dress it's not it's more of a what a funny color that looks it's actually more greeny and it's coming up on the screen it's bodycon it's coast again yeah coast and it's a 12. It's got a drop back, a, a, a V at the back there. Again, another one for an occasion. It's one of those sort of nice, really stretchy, kind of hold everything in place jobs, which most people quite like that. So that's a good party dress, holiday dress, whatever. Oh, are you feeling a bit overwhelmed, Indy? Ah, oh, sales are low. 
Yeah, full moons do affect people, actually. Um, they're good for energy, but if you've got anything going on that's worries, it tends to magnify them all more. Um, so a nice thing to do, if you've got worries and things that are really, really peeing you off, uh, this, this is... Let's just take a moment aside from reselling. If you've got things that are really peeing you off for a particular person or particular situation, grab a piece, a sheet of your favourite loo paper, write it all out and flush it away. <laughs> it works. It's a sort of more modern form of, of a magical thing to do, but it does actually work. <laughs> it can help. Um, <clears throat> and here, here ends the craft lesson for today. Um, <laughs> yeah. That's the thing with feeling, if you're feeling low energy and feeling overwhelmed, indeed, you know, just, just ride it out, it will pass. And one day you'll just think, actually, you know, I'm feeling a bit more like getting back on it again. You know, things are gonna be up and down. And my sales have been, I would say up and down like a tart straws, as my name would have said. Some days amazingly, other days, yeah, not quite tumbleweed. Um, I haven't had any no sale days for a while, but I've had some pretty low ones. But try and look at it as overall and get that holiday kit listed <laughs> because people are starting to think about going away. Ah, yeah, it does. Go with it. Yeah, it's kind of one of those things you have to think, that's how I'm feeling at the moment, that's fine. Um, it will change, it will feel better in time. But if that's how it is, that's how it is. I have times when I'm very high energy, when I get so much done, and other times when I feel like I'm wading through treacle. The days when I'm wading through treacle, I just try and be as kind to myself as possible. I'm not that good at being kind to myself, admittedly, but I do try. This is a riot of colour. It's slightly balloon hemmed, it's linen, it's one of those, one of those sort of things to wear on a very hot day. I don't know this brand, Nace, Nace, Nice, I suppose. <laughs> um, uh, is it a made in Italy job? Quite possibly. But I do find these go for reasonable money if they're in nice colours. It's got pocketses. I like a dress with pocketses. I get very confused when I wear a dress that doesn't have pocketses. Ah, here's a label. It's probably going to tell me it's made in Italy. <laughs> yes, and it's going to tell me it's linen. I find these things, you know, when they're made in Italy, I, sometimes I do put that in the keywords. People like it. I don't know why Italian linen is special, but I thought the pattern on it, it's very um, Gudrun, it's Gudrun what's the face, isn't it really? It's got that feel to it. Logan look, stuff. It's got to be a few quid in that. I haven't, as I say, I haven't really researched for anything, but I try and pick things that I know are gonna be, that I would buy even if I had to spend more money on them. I try not to be too swayed by the price. Bowden, yawn, yes I know, Bowden. This is a button down dress. All the way down the front, it's a bit eye popping. It's geometric design, um, and it does come with a belt, which I was pleased because I hadn't even thought of that. Apparently, it's a nice sort of cross grain belt that goes with it. So, I will look up the style. I suspect it's a reasonably recent one, um, and it is cotton 100% cotton. I tend to steer away from the sort of the very jersey ones, if you know what I mean. They, they don't, don't tend to be so high end, but a lot of yummy mummies still like their bone. And that's a nice summery dress. Oh, why did I pick did I pick these up for me? I'm just checking the size. Did I pick these up for me? Possibly. Um, Topshop Moto jeans uh, can do well. These are the mum jeans. They're a bit ashed about. High waisters, as a mum jean should be. They've turned the bottoms up. I don't know if you're meant to turn the bottoms yeah, up. Yeah, you are. The bottoms are turned up, so they're, they're the taper leg jeans, very um, 90s. But I thought I'd give those a whirl. They might fit me, they might, might just make me look absolutely awful. But I'll probably sell them, because I've got a lot of jeans. I do wear trousers a lot of the time. In fact, it's a rare day, I change into a skirt because I'm so hot. Yeah, Topshop jeans, um, the Lee jeans, L-E-I-G-H, uh, do quite well. With, they seem to be popular. They're like a skinny a skinny one. And I've, I've got a maternity pair of Lee jeans on the market at the moment that haven't done anything. But some Topshop jeans, yeah, they do. I think it's because, oh, oh hello. 
<laughs> I think it's because a lot of people haven't actually, including myself, we don't have a top shop anywhere near us. And the pain of thinking, dear God, am I really going to go all the way up to London to brave the crowds and go to top shop when I can pick it up online? So, yeah, it's all good. Oh, sorry. There's cashmere around the house. <laughs> Once again, skinny jeans. Yeah, skinny jeans and a graphic tee. I've got to say, that's that's kind of a uniform, especially if it comes in black. Cashmere. Yes, more cashmere. It's one of these funny jumpers that looks bizarre. Oversized. Oversized. Hopefully free of holes. This one has a few bubbles, so it has been worn. I don't know this brand, but I can tell because it's one of these ones that's nice fabric, just, just you know, sewn in. It says it's made in China, which is a bit disappointing, but Charlie, C-H... A R L I Charlie. Um, it's a bit of cashmere and it cost me a couple of quid, so I'm having it anyway. But I should look up the brand. It's these, these sort of nice labels. Now that's very strange. It says Betty Davis Limited. Really? I thought she died years ago. Uh, Moxton Street, Barnet, Hertfordshire. Hello, I'm doing a live. That's my husband. <laughs> He's looking at me very strangely, thinking, why the hell is she talking to herself? I'm showing my haul to the ladies. <laughs> That's Nigel, my husband. <laughs> ah, so we'll see if that Charlie brand's any good. <laughs> Three pairs of moto jeans. Yeah, they, they just have a good fit. And I think when you find a brand of jeans that you like and that fit you well, I had a similar thing with... Um, Oh, new look, new look jeans, yes, yes jeans, and they just were made the right, they were made to fit my bum, not somebody else's, so, uh, yeah, I do like that, now this is bobbly, I'm going to have to get my debobbler out, but I don't mind, because it's rather pretty, little stripey number, is that a mark on it, oh god, oh, it might come out, oh, it's got a bit of a mark on it, this was, yeah, this is the White Company. Try and show you there. there you go. Um, medium size. It's not really cashmere season, but they always sell, so I always stick them on. 100% um, cashmere, yes. So I'll be attacking that with the debobbler. Oh, I keep seeing quite a lot of cashmere about that's shrunk. Is that a stone? Yeah. Here we have someone dipped their elbow in something, I think. Is there a matching one on the other side? No, but that is going to need a gentle wash. Oh, well, we'll give it a go. I am quite good at ruining things. I have to be ever so careful. Oh, bye, Peter. You've got to go. <laughs> what was what was £240 brand new? Do tell me, what was £240 brand new? Is it is it one of these? <laughs> wow. It never ceases to amaze me how much money people throw around their clothes. <laughs> the Charlie. Well, I, I should, I'm glad I haven't got to wash that then. It does feel super nice. There's cashmere and there's cashmere. I'm, I'm beginning to learn that. Thank you. Thank you, Becky. Becca. Sorry, I've got a phone call, Becky. I must stop doing that. Um, yeah, right. Wow. Happy days. I love that. I just trust my instincts when I'm grabbing things. But I saw I saw this pattern. Do you know what it is yet? Come on, you lot must know what this is. <laughs> I can't award tap points, can I? <laughs> it's one of those patterns. If you see it, you should grab it if it's at a good price. It's not my size, though. It's too bloody small again, which is annoying. Okay. It is, of course, East... This is East Artisan with an Oki, or you'll get an Oki for East. Um, yeah. What makes these ones extra special is they actually have the metallicized. Yeah, well done, Becca. Actually has the uh, slightly metalized finish where someone's gone on painted little. It's only on the collar on this one, just down the front. It's just silver, either silver or gold accents. Oh, there's some on the body of it as well, I just spotted. I just literally launch into this stuff as soon as I see it. Um, it'll always go. I've got quite a few Anoki pieces up, and I'm hoping they're going to sell very, very soon. 
Oh, hi, L33 Misses. <laughs> L33 Misses. Ah, now, I saw these, and of course, this lady that I buy from, she knows me. And she said, oh, I thought you'd go for those. <laughs> I said, yep, they're weird. They're wonderful. Wow. It's all like patch patchwork sewed on with these little stars. Well, stars, Maltese Acostas, I suppose, aren't they? Actually, they're faded. They're bashed up. They're high rise. Well, yeah, they are high rise. They, yeah, they've got a long inseam. I do put this measurement on my jeans and trousers now, from from the top to the to the crotchal area, um, because people do like to know what the rise is. Um, it's been the bane of my life trying to. Oh, it's it is missing a button. Is that going to make a massive amount of difference? Possibly not. Obviously, I have to declare that. But I think these were so cool they were worth it. I don't know this brand again. Oh, bye, Maria. Thanks for dropping in. Fake London Genius. Never heard of them. I don't know if they are vintage, if they're just trying to be vintage. Hems are a bit sort of scuffied up. They're quite long leg. I don't know what size they are. Either. Because when you're in the middle of a field, you're not always going through everything. These might be vintage, actually. Fake London genius. Can I see the bloody size? No. I'll just put all the measurements in. I'm saying that's probably a 12 maximum. They are a bit bashed around, but they are so cool. <laughs> oh, bye, Maria. Thank you for dropping in. <laughs> oh. oh, how sweet. <laughs> oh, isn't that nice? That is nice. So I don't know if there's any money in those, but just for unusual, I think. Oh, sorry. The wool. Oh, mohair's the worst one. I do pick it up when I see it. And although I don't agree with it ethically, if someone's handmade a mohair jumper, I want decent money for it. But it really, really makes me kind of, <laughs> yeah, it really makes, gives me a nose, nose ache. Makes me want to sneeze. Yes, people are terribly sweet. I had a lovely message from somebody. I'd sent them a nice black sort of gothy style skirt. And, you know, they, they were sent me an email. And I'm like, oh, God, they want to return. Because you do. You get so much of that. People only talk to you if there's something, something wrong. And she was just saying how delighted she was with it. And I was like, oh, yes, don't judge. <laughs> ah, right. So that was all the clothes from that bundle. And the rest is shoes. Shoes, sure, shoes, sure, shoes. Sure. Here's a brand I wasn't too familiar with their shoes. Hush. <laughs> and here on my room. Hi. Look at these. Look at these bad boys. Woohoo. They're sort of like that pony skinny type of look. They're cool. I don't know if they've been worn. Maybe someone tried them on indoors or tried them on momentarily, but they're certainly not worn. Um... They're my size, but you won't see me rocking these. They're not really me, but they are quite fun. I think they go for, you know, 50 quid or they look big. Yeah, they're wide. They're actually a size six, a 39. Um, I think there's there's at least 50 quid in these. Yeah, rank. <laughs> they're not my style at all, but somebody sold a pair of these on the 14th. So I'm going to get mine up ever so fast. Um, nice with the box as well. Like I say, not really my thing, or fur and what have you, but not bad for a couple of quid. <laughs> See, they are a love-hate thing. I think people either love them or hate them. Yes. Oh, you're going to be there, are you, L33? That's fantastic. There's going to be so many people there. Amazing. It's going to be brilliant. Now, these are those sort of loose, loose boots. But, of course, I spotted the fact they're leather soles. Marker quality in a boot. They are jigsaw. Might need a bit of a clean on the soles, admittedly. But they're nice little suede slouchy boots. <laughs> Flat feet like flippers. Do you swim well, Indy? <laughs> are you a good swimmer? Um, I really like these. Nice, solid, chunky heel. Probably good for the festival season. They're so soft. So soft. Too big for me, alas. Uh, once again, a 40. 40 is a 7. Well, they're nice slouchy boots, and they've really not been worn 
excessively at all. They're just in really nice condition. I love the ones that have this sort of thing going on. And jigsaw, um, jigsaw are always popular. It's always popular. Whether these are truly vintage or not, I don't know. But I've had reasonable luck with jigsaw things in the past. I used to work up in Covent Garden in the 90s and Jigsaw and Karen Millen were the two sort of shops that everyone went to. Oh, which meetup? Ah, is there more than one? I'm thinking of the Bristol one, but I do know, I do know, I think there's one up north, isn't there? That somebody's having. <clears throat> Righty ho, what else have I got? Getting near the end, guys. It was a, it was a good old haul. Right, these again are brand new. They are Clark's Wave Walk. So like walking shoes. It's all sort of a bit hikey. Uh, ladies ones, I think. They're absolutely immaculate, not been worn. Um, I don't I haven't done research on these. What size are they? 7D. A D is a standard width, isn't it? So a size seven. So that's a good size. They should do well. Walking season, I guess, is upon us. Um, oops. She had a load of shoes. I was really, really lucky this morning. These again, these all divide opinion. Oh, really? Oh, wow. Okay, I'll get those on. Thank you, Indy. <laughs> these have a kind of a, a thicker sole. They're, this is that pony skin stuff. They have been worn. And they are a size, <laughs> they've only been worn once or twice by the look of things. Can't see the size. A five, I think, I think those are a five. But they're nice leather ones. And now my son's come to see me. Hello, yes? You're going to cruise? How do you do? What, you're going now? We're going somewhere. Am I getting invited? I don't know. <laughs> okay, can you give me five minutes? What? I'm writing this in Okay, well, let me know. The invitation for ice cream, I'm not going to refuse that. So I don't know what they'll go for, but they are actually, what I hadn't told you is they are Clark's Artisan. And the Artisan ones, again, scar shoes, one step beyond. They are a bit, aren't they? They're kind of cool. Okay, well, ice cream looms. But and second to last thing, I didn't even know that Barber do shoes. And they do. These are sort of Oxfords, I think, of some description. Uh, Nubuck, menswear, not worn very much at all, bit of something nasty on the bottom. Does no, that invite? Going to cruise. Am I invited? Yeah. Okay. Do you want to say hello to the people? This is my son, Alex. Hello, people. <laughs> Look, they're here on the chat. Hello. He's very well spoken, Heather. <laughs> You're very well spoken. See? That's Karen. I'm seeing I'm seeing her next weekend when I go to Bristol and leave you behind. Hello, Peter. <laughs> Claire says hello. L33 says hello. Sam says hello. Everyone's saying hello to you. <laughs> oh, bless him. Um, yeah, so there's some good value in these. I was having a little bit of a look, and I think there's a good 50-odd quid. See, they've got the bloke in the raincoat on the bottom. Very, very strange. But I wasn't leaving those behind, and not when they probably cost me £2.50. Now, these are my favourite ones of all. These divide opinion. <laughs> these divide opinion, but they are, of course, fly London. We're going to Queen's, like, now. Yeah, I know. Give me a minute. I'll be with you. I'm not going to miss an ice cream call. Good God. Nice sandals. Fly London. They really don't look. If they've been worn, they've been worn once. They do advertise their brand there. Um, I can't see what size these are. This is the only frustration. They might, ah, no, hang on. It's all done in a very pale bugger. There are seven. There are seven. You're not coming, Karen. Oh, that's a shame. Oh, no. Oh, Karen, that is a shame. Oh, well, we'll have to live stream to you. You can't be left out. So someone <laughs> creams. <laughs> yeah, we, we love creams. They're definitely going sunny around the corner from me. These are a size seven, so they're not going to fit my hooves, which is a shame. If they'd have been a six, I might have just nabbed them. I don't normally do shoes, but I love these. And they're red. 
So there we go. Yes, we, we will. We're bound to be live streaming. There's going to be all kinds of people putting out all kinds of um, all kinds of chat and things. And obviously the arm wrestling match and, and the shenanigans which will be ongoing is it will be filmed in great detail. Probably not by me because I'm a bit crap as a vlogger, but there are plenty of people who are a bit more professional. Ah, you love those. Yes, I love those too. I don't know what I'm going to have. Um, possibly strawberry. I love strawberry ice cream because it's fresh and I don't like all the really weird flavours. He had to, like a salted caramel one the other day and to my mind it tasted, and remember, if anyone remembers Angel Delight like butterscotch flavour, it was like that. It was <coughs> too sweet, too sweet, too sweet. <laughs> you feel like an ice cream now. <laughs> wow, <laughs> you haven't got that far to come. Um, so it looks like I'm going to be going for ice cream. So thank you for tuning in. I've been waffling for the best part of 50 minutes dear god um that was my lovely haul if any of you have got lovely hauls get them out here and if i don't see you before i will see you at the meetup so bye bye everybody thanks for joining me S subscribe if you haven't already and all that shenanigans you know how it is bye <laughs> i'm going to end the stream now i shall press the button bye bye now <laughs> yes i do